Hey everybody, welcome back to Flag Slash Fan Friday. Hope you liked the Moldova episode. As you know, this is the part where I usually fix the mistakes that we've made in the video, or I add things that didn't quite make it into the video. For one, yes, I'm fully aware that I mispronounced like pretty much half of everything. Romanian is a really hard language. It's kind of like the Danish of the Latin languages. Actually, I think maybe French might be the Danish, but it's uh, Romanian's up there in difficulty. Also, in terms of foreign investment, we forgot to mention that the insurance sector is actually very heavily invested in. In fact, the largest insurance company in Moldova is actually owned by Australians. Also, we did mention that Moldovans are pretty much the same as Romanians. However, they did have a principality a long time ago that kind of set them apart from the Romanians. Also, I accidentally said Dracians, it's Dacians. And finally, the last thing is, in my conclusion, I said that they were Latinos. Oftentimes, the word Latino is referencing American Latinos. However, in the broadest definition, Latino can kind of just refer to anybody that has Latin heritage. I once asked my friend in Italy, do you guys consider yourselves Latinos? And he was like, uh, we invented Latinos. Everything Latin started in Italy. And I was like, hmm, never thought of it that way. So in a very broad sense, yes, kind of Moldovans can be considered Latinos, but it's like, yeah. Anyway, that's about it. Uh, let's move on to the flag. So without further ado. <laughs> Ah, uh, Moldova. What did you guys think about the epic sax guy? I always heard the song, but I was yeah. like, where's that from? I didn't know that was a Moldova episode. I saw the whole Eurovision. episode, I'm like, oh my god, this all makes more sense. So anyway, the flag. The flag is a vertical tricolor of blue, yellow, and red with the national coat of arms in the center. Now this is the part where it's gonna get a little condensed because with the colors, they basically just kinda got inspired off of the flag of Romania. The only difference is that their blue is a little lighter and it's a little more narrow in the size ratio. Here's the thing, the colors kind of technically don't have have official meanings. They kind of do, but I kind of want to save that for the Romania episode. If you want a basic summary, it kind of has to do with Wallachia and the unification of all the peoples of the Romanian area. However, some people might say that the colors stand for liberty, justice, and fraternity. But yeah, either way, uh, no animation this week. Ken, you're good. Uh, lock yourself up in your dungeon with this lock that we got last week from the Basque County, okay? Okay. You're good. All right, bye. Ah! Keep in mind though, prior to this, they had a ton of other flags like the Communist Party flag, the first SSR flag, Flag, which is basically the one that Transnistria uses today. The boring 1938 Autonomous Soviet Republic flag. When they were unified with Romania, they used the kingdom flags, and when they were a principality, they used this flag. Also, the autonomous unit Gagauzia uses this flag. It has red, white, and blue stripes, and three stars in the upper hoist corner representing the three municipalities of Gagauzia, which also represent the past, present, and future. The colors are inspired from the Russian flag, but it also symbolizes the ancestral contributor to their people group, the Kipchaks, Pechenegs, and the Oguz Turks. All right, now that that's over, with the coat of arms. The coat of arms is a shield with an eagle laid on top, symbolizing the Latin people, holding a cross in its beak, as well as a laurel branch in one talon and a scepter in the other. The shield contains an oryx, the national animal, with a star, flower, and crescent. And keep in mind, just like their flag, they've had many other coat of arms throughout their history. Of course, during the Soviet years, they've had these. They had a ton of different ones during the principality years and the other things that they went through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I kind of say the same thing every week. You get the point. All right, so that's just basically Basically about it, you know what time it is. It's time for Geography Fan Mail time. All right, we got a lot of stuff. Ken, get in here. All right, so as you know, we always start off with postcards. Uh, Jonathan from Canada visited Marseille, France, and Firenze, Italy, Florence. Arwen from Brighton, Sussex. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Christine visited Hell, Michigan, and they wrote, don't send slash Ken to hell. <laughs> we got a postcard from New Orleans from Andy. Jonathan visited Liechtenstein. Dragos from I Romania. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Dragos, what do you think of Moldova? What did you think of the episode? You're, they're like your cousins. Evan from Port Huron, Michigan. Uh, Lucas. Sending wishes from Greece. Oh, yeah. okay, cool. Wow, nice postcard. Josh from Creed, Colorado. Thank you. Orion? Uh, looks like Manhattan, New York. Uh, Yuan visited Cambodia. Yep, this was in the, uh, Cambodia episode. Hope you guys watched it. Jonathan. It looks like a postcard from Vancouver, Canada. The Capliano Suspension Bridge. Canada. Canada. We sorry, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think your name is Jonathan from Germany. You visited Croatia. Postcard from Pablo from New Haven, Connecticut. Looks like Yale. We got a postcard from Jonathan in Montenegro, which is uh, what country? What is that the, Montenegro? Montenegro is a country. Oh, oh, it is a country. <laughs> I thought it was a city. <laughs> You're barely still working for me, Ken. Montenegro. Oh, we haven't done that yet. That's no, why. It's coming up. I will yeah. find, I'll learn about this as we go along. You're like this close, Ken, I swear. <laughs> Somewhere in Africa, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. I know it's not. I know it's not. Don't kill me. <laughs> 
<laughs> and finally, this is really cool. We actually got a postcard sent from North Korea. It was sent from Ales, who is actually a Czech person who visited North Korea. It's uh, Pektusan, the tallest mountain in North Korea. And if you look even closer, it was sent from the North Korean post. It says, uh, 안녕하세요, Paul, 선생님. Oh, 선생님, jeez. It means teacher in Korean. Oh! <laughs> ジュエイミンゴンハグイソヨ。ペクトゥさん、ボゴシポソワソヨ。カムサンディダ。はい、ユノダ。オワノウズ、コムスタカ。コムスタカナ。ザトイノ。コムスタカナ。カナダ。カ
one of my episodes, I made this face. But it looks so accurate. Yeah, so he sent this to me and I posted it on my Instagram. And this is the real original artwork. Wow. That's so cool. My name is Michael from Poland. I love your channel. I've been watching around the letter E. Currently I'm studying architecture at Warsaw Polytechnic. Next time I'll try to send portraits of the other members of the channel. Ah, nice. Okay, well, Michael, uh, I don't know, maybe you could do Ken next or Noah or Keith. Ooh, Keith would be good. Keith would yeah, be great. Keith would be great, not Ken. Keith yeah. would be better. <laughs> Going back to my dungeon. <laughs> I, I need comfort. I need comfort right now. Food. <laughs> Last one. What is this? It's also from Poland. Oh, another Poland. We got another Poland guy. Bunch of snacks here. It's Paula from Poland. Wrocza? Wrocza. Wrocza. From Poland. Yeah. Okay, cool. First of all, Noah is my favorite. Okay. Oh, Noah is your favorite. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh. Both of us are equally offended. Second of all, I know your Poland episode is fast archipelago. Uh, 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 approaching? Uh, approaching. Oh. <laughs> archipelago. <laughs> I'm always happy to see an educational channel on YouTube, and I'm very glad you guys are uploading your videos. Thank you. Hmm. Is it brown? Oh, it's like gingerbread. Oh. Polish potato pancakes. Wait. Polish caramels. By the way, I say caramel, not caramel. What do you say? Wait, when I go to Starbucks, I say, can I get the ultra caramel? Oh, I say caramel. Oh, okay. Caramel, yeah, you say I, caramel. I say caramel, like ML. Caramel. caramel. I don't know, that's how I grew up saying it. All right, so that's just about it, but before we, before we go, you know what time it is? Uh, I got it this time. Return address contest. Finally, geez. Yeah, Woo. I put all your return addresses in this bag. Ken's gonna pick one out and whoever wins gets this scratch off map provided from Jagger Peeps Federico. He sells them on his website, go here. So if you don't win, you get to buy one. And let's do this. Uh, got one, I got, got one. one. Okay. And it says, Annalise from Spain. Spain, Annalise, nice. you just won. Whoop, whoop. Woo. Well guys, thank you so much. This has been great. I love putting your hometowns and stuff like that on display. You guys have just been flagged. Before we go, can any last words? Oh no, again? I'm I don't I can't think right now. Um words. Geography. Geography peeps, you rock. Uh, I'm really weak at this. Bye.